right, in this video we're going to take a look at something that's on YouTube where a lot of people are questioning if it works or if it doesn't work. Now not long ago an individual posted a video showing a case fan like you see here from a computer and what he did is he wanted to show you how he made a free energy magnet motor. Now after watching the video it certainly appeared convincing but I had to try it out for myself. Now I followed exactly what the person did in the video. I went out and I purchased some neodymium disc magnets. In this case there are seven. Now the only difference is that my magnets are slightly thicker and his were slightly thinner. The positioning is all the same and every single one of these magnets points in the same direction. Now in my case they all point to magnetic south, every single one of them. Once this is complete, every single one of these is facing the same direction, all either magnetic north or magnetic south facing outward. You're going to take another magnet, like you see here, this is an N38 or an N40 neodymium magnet. You're going to want to make sure that it's the exact same side. That's south, if I turn it around, that's north, all right? So you want to use the south side of the magnet. And what you're going to do is the south side of the magnet is going to repel each one of these and supposedly make them spin very quickly in that direction. Now because this is magnetic south and the magnet is also going to be magnetic south, they're the same so they're going to, they're going to want to repel each other. So by bringing the magnet close to the fan blades, you would expect the magnet to push away, which it will. But that individual shows in his video is that once the magnet, a single magnet, is brought close to the fan, it just goes on quickly and just speeds away. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to test this. I'm going to bring my magnet close to this angle of the fan to see if the motor starts to spin. All right, so now I'm going to hold the magnet right there and give it a little spin. And I can feel in my hand the magnetic fields acting on this magnet right here as I rotate the fan. So now I could try it there. All right. So now I could try a whole bunch of different positions. I could try it here at an angle. All right. Try it there. Spin it that way. And it just stops. And the problem that you're having here, now I tried several magnets. I tried actually, I have a whole bunch of magnets here. I have these ceramic bar magnets. All right. I have these ceramic disc magnets. I have neodymium discs, more of those. I have a whole bunch of these huge neodymiums. These are one inch diameter by about three eighths thick. I have two of these smaller ones. I have a neodymium rod. I have a lot of different magnets here. I also have these thin ones right here. They all go together. Now in that video he shows he's using one magnet. Now if you use the one magnet, now this side is the magnetic north side and that's magnetic south. So I just got to make sure that I bring the one next to it. All right. So if I bring this close like he did, this should start spinning in reality, right? And it's not. The problem you're having with this type of a setup, you're having a problem with cogging. C-O-G-G-I-N-G, -G -G, cogging. And what happens in between each one of these magnets, like you see here, all right, you have a magnetic field coming off of it. Now these are opposite poles, how they attract, and these are similar poles, how they repel. Now what I mean by cogging, you'll see the way the field comes off the disc magnet. If I hold another magnet above it, the field might come off like this. And when it comes off like that, it's going to want to get caught inside the area that you see right here or after it. And what happens, that kind of hangs things up as you try and spin things. And that's why when you rotate the motor, 
you may feel it grabbing every time it turns is because of cogging which is the magnetic field like locking into all these other areas of the magnetic field so right now I'll spin it now the cogging is when I turn the fan watch how it bounces into position you see that that's what's happening here now I also try holding the magnet sideways and spinning it I try putting the magnet along the outside and you can see right now it's really cogging each position is locking I try taking the bar magnets and holding them against the side and spinning it I even try to now I even tried to counteract the cogging in the fan by using more than one magnet to try and break it free from that cogging action so if it wanted to lock in right here I would try positioning this magnet in a different area to get it to get past that spot where it's trying to hang up. I've tried everything with this and it just doesn't do it. So clearly, no matter what I do with the magnet, I could put one there, you could put one along the bottom, you could place one along the top and try everything in. No matter what you do, you could try putting a little bit of a field on it like that make sure it's the same way, it's backwards, that's the right way, make sure it's right, and, alright, you could try doing two, and I even tried using two to stop the cogging, and then also use a third additional one, and even with three I had a serious problem. So the odds of this thing working, like that video states it does, is very slim, or next to nil because I'm very good at putting things together and I have an understanding of how this actually works and it's very hard to get past that cogging that's there I've tried everything on this fan and it does not spin the way that video shows so clearly in my opinion the video to me is a fake alright because I don't see how it's possible to overcome that cogging like that and have the fan come on that fast. Now I've tried these little ones here. They're powerful neodymiums. I put one there. And then I've tried others in different spots trying to counteract. And then I give it a spin. And it might go a little bit and stop. But you see that cogging is very strong. and you go like that you have to realize that there are a lot of videos on YouTube that are fakes and the reason why they do that is because they want your views and they want to make money now I would also like to have a lot of views as well but I refuse to put out a fake video in order to get those views so more than likely that YouTuber has a little read switch inside of here with a couple little button cells that are hidden and when you bring the magnet close you're closing the relay contacts energizing the windings letting the fan come on you could also kind of pick out the ones that are fake videos because you notice that there's never any information given now if I got this to work right here what I would do is I would say okay this is the model number fan that I used I used N35 disc magnets at so and so thickness and I positioned them so many millimeters on center to this point I glued them down and once I did that I took a ceramic bar magnet like this I would give you the dimensions tell you exactly what it is and then when you try it you would hold the magnet there and see that it works it wouldn't just do that and stop alright so I would give you all the information because I know that it works and I want you to be able to make one so yours works as well. But the difference is with these other videos is they're fake. When you don't see them replying to your questions and they don't put out schematics and they don't explain things, that everything's a big secret, you know it's a fake video. When you see the ones that explain and offer all the information up front and they're offering to help you and show you how it's done then you know you might have a real video but until then you have to be careful of these videos because a lot of them are fake
If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist. Thank you for watching.